Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're interested in seeing what I made for this week, then just keep on watching. I have these four Dollar Tree mirrors and also my blue painter's tape. And the first thing I'm gonna do is cover my mirrors with the tape. Next, I'm taking my X-Acto knife and I'm cutting the excess blue painter's tape off. Now I'm using this Deco Art acrylic paint in the color Ebony Black. I do love the mirrors just as they are in the color gold, but specifically, I wanted black frames for this project. And I do think Dollar Tree sell these, but I was unable to find them in the color black. So that's why I am now creating my own. So now we are outside and to seal the acrylic paint, I will be using this clear gloss spray paint. I used that same black acrylic paint to cover one side of my popsicle sticks and now I'm just gluing them to the back of my frames for more stability. I'm adding popsicle sticks to the front part of my mirrors as well to make it a little bit more sturdier. Next, I have these three Dollar Tree mirrors and I'm gonna start by removing the black tabs and also the stickers and then add some glue. Okay, so these crazy little shapes that you guys see here is actually Dollar Tree foam board that I had left over from a previous project and I just cut them down a little smaller so they can be able to fit in the centers of my mirrors. I glued these on just so it could be easier for me to glue my mirrors on to the frames since the frames have so many open spaces. So now that all my mirrors are glued down, next I'm gonna be working with these clear acrylic gems and I'm just gonna glue the gems around the perimeter of each mirror.
Next, I'm going to glue the small circle mirror tiles to the center of each mirror. Then I'm going to glue them around the frames. For this last step, I'm just going to glue a gem to the center of each mirror tile, but only for the top and bottom frames and mirrors only. Once I was done gluing all my gems down, I removed any excess glue strings, cleaned my mirrors off, and then I had something that looked like this. I love the way this week's project turned out. It's super glam, super pretty, and budget friendly. But tell me what y'all think. Please like, comment, and share. And if you're curious to see what else I can create, hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications so you can be notified when I upload a new video.